Okay. Calculate the density of the chlorine gas at STP. Huh? Given the molar mass of chlorine is 0 0.07 kilogram per mole. Okay, so here we need to find uh, density. Okay. Uh, okay, standard temperature and pressure. What is standard temperature and pressure? Uh, standard temperature and pressure is uh, this pressure. Uh, this pressure, uh, 1 atmospheric pressure and 0 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's what we want to know. Okay. Uh, okay, standard temperature and pressure. Standard temperature and pressure. Okay, we write that down first. What will we know about standard temperature and pressure? Uh, pressure must be 1 atmospheric pressure. You know the binary number? Uh, pressure is 1 atmospheric pressure. Volume is 0 degrees Celsius. Very simple to remember. Uh, and then we need to change this uh, to uh, SI unit. Okay. Uh, yeah, we need to change it to SI unit. We uh, cannot maintain in atmospheric pressure. And uh, eh, wait, wait, this is volume. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Uh, standard temperature and pressure. So pressure is one atmospheric pressure. Temperature is zero degrees Celsius. Okay. So we need to change to Pascal and also Kelvin. Uh, so how to change? Um, okay, so what atmospheric pressure is? Huh, look at the list of constant provided in the exam. List of constant. Uh, so we have uh, this. What atmospheric pressure is 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. Uh, change to this value. So 1.013 exponent 5 Pascal. And then what's the temperature? The temperature is 0 degrees Celsius. Uh, so, uh, 273 Kelvin, uh, okay, plus 273, you get Kelvin, okay, uh, so remember, must be in SI unit, Pascal and Kelvin, okay, we got the pressure and temperature already, yeah, uh, I don't, don't, uh, sorry, so this volume is only for one mole, huh? uh, so don't, don't, uh, don't regard about this. Just look at the pressure and temperature. One atmospheric pressure and zero degrees Celsius. This is for volume for one mole. Yeah, volume for one mole. So disregard this. Just take the one zero. Yeah, one zero. Uh, one, one zero. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, given also the molar mass, uh, give us the molar mass already. This is uh, zero point zero seven kilogram per mole. Uh, so give us the molar mass over here. Uh, this one already in SI unit also uh, kilogram because normally molar mass give us the unit in gram per mole we need to change it to kilogram but this one already in uh, SI unit okay already in SI unit so uh, okay good uh, good all right we already have uh, in SI unit the molar mass so don't need to change anymore so just write that down first, kilogram per mole. If the question gives you gram per mole, you need to divide by 1000. Yeah? Change it to kilogram per mole. Yeah? Remember, must be in SI unit. Okay, we got this. So we want to find pressure. So how? What formula can help us? Uh, okay, maybe this one. Pressure equal to 1 over 3 uh, density VRMS squared. But don't have, we don't have the VRMS. Never mind, just write that down first. Okay, maybe this will help us. Okay, we can use PV equal to 1 over 3. Eh, no, no, no. Uh, this is... Uh, PV is this formula. Uh, yeah, volume divide below, we get this density. Yeah? So we can use this formula. Pressure equal to 1 over 3. Uh, density uh, VRMS. Where? Okay, we have the pressure, we have, uh, we don't have VRMS, but, uh, so the following formula can uh, find another formula for VRMS. So formula for VRMS we have uh, this, uh, which has the molar mass, isn't it? VR molar mass, give us a molar mass already. Uh, VRMS equal to square root 3RT over molar mass, we have the temperature, isn't it? Uh, we have the temperature, Standard temperature and pressure. Temperature is zero, zero degrees Celsius. Uh, change to Kelvin. I can use this one. Uh, VRMS. Okay. Uh, I think we use two formula to solve the questions. So VRMS is uh, 
square root uh, 3RT over molar mass. Uh, 3RT over molar mass. Okay, so we got it. Um, so now let's calculate. Let's calculate. So uh, what do we do now? Uh, okay, we have the temp. The, we have this molar mass. We have the temperature. So what we do is uh, we find the VRMS first. Or you want to put this one into this formula also can. Okay, uh, we do it straight away. Pressure equal to one over three. Uh, density. Uh, this VRMS. Yeah. Can. Okay. This formula can substitute inside. And what do we get? Uh, square. Square the whole thing, isn't it? VRMS. So uh, this one is square root. 3RT over molar mass. Uh, so we have pressure equal to 1 over 3. Density uh, multiplied by, you know, the square root is gone because we square it already. Uh, okay. Uh, so, so right now, we need to find what? We need to find the density. Uh, we need to find density. This density role. Uh, we already have the pressure, we already have the temperature, we have the molar mass. We just substitute everything and we can find the answer. Right? Very simple. So once we, you know, the, the moral of the story, the moral of the story is, we, once we list down whatever information given, uh, what we have in the, form, in the questions, what information we have, and what formula we have, and then we can easily identify how to solve the questions, isn't it? I uh, just plug plug and play yeah put in the value and we can get the the value intended uh, the density okay right now remember you must change all to si unit pascal kelvin kilogram everything must be in si unit ah cannot be in the other unit gram per mole degree celsius atmospheric pressure cannot yeah must all in si unit pascal kelvin kilogram per mole Okay, so uh, substitute and we will get the answer. Okay, so in Pascal, good. And 1 over 3, uh, we want to find density, right? And then uh, 3RT. What is the value of R? Uh, value of R, you can get from this of constant. Value of R is 8.31. Yeah, this of constant, 8.31. So value of R is 8.31 and then temperature is uh, 273 Kelvin because 0 degree Celsius and uh, molar mass already in kilogram per mole SI unit also good so the rest is punch your calculator uh, let's calculate okay so the answer we get uh, is uh, 3.13 3 3 uh, exponent 3.13 oh no exponent huh? only 3.13 that's, that's it that's my density 3.13 uh, unit for density is kilogram per meter cube because it's because it is a volume over a uh, mass over volume is density right mass over volume so it's kilogram per meter cube Okay, is that the answer? Yeah, the answer is B. You see, 3.1 or 3.13. 3.1 kilogram per meter cube. That's, that's correct, the answer. Okay, so that's it for these questions. Hope you understand. Okay, bye bye.